people hear the term Unicode, but often they don't really know what it means. They'll use, throw out phrases like double byte. And really the context here is their software needs to support a, uh, typically a, uh, a Far East Asian country like uh, China or Japan. And now the software has to work in, say, uh, traditional Chinese or uh, kanji, uh, uh, and, and there are all kinds of scripts involved with that. So uh, in the bad old days, when software was first getting popular, it used a character encoding standard referred to as ASCII. And ASCII um, really assigned, remember back in school there was bits and bytes uh, uh, for every thing you did on the computer. Those are zeros and ones. ASCII just reduced everything you did, every letter on the screen, to seven sets of zeros and one. So an A would be zero, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Now the problem with ASCII is as soon as you go to Spanish or another language, let's say you need a couple of accents, there isn't space. There's no zeros and ones left for that. So then they went on to ISO-Latin, and ISO-Latin added another zero. Now you had eight bits per character, which is great, because now you could do uh, uh, a little bit more. You could uh, uh, support French, Italian, German, um, but really you were still limited to the Western European languages for the most part. But then when you need to do something, let's say for uh, uh, I'll draw a little symbol here. You need to do a Chinese character. Now you suddenly need quite a bit more sets of zero, one, zeros and ones to render that. And so along comes Unicode, which kind of saves the day. And Unicode, what it is, is it's a superset of characters that support most every language, I don't want to say all, but really any commercially viable language right now is pretty much supported by Unicode. So if you make your software work so that it supports Unicode, and that's a matter of the functions, methods, classes, your database is set up to support a Unicode encoding, then you're in good shape. But there's more than one encoding to Unicode. It gets a little complex. You have the common ones are UTF-8, um, you have UTF-16, and then you have UTF-32, you have UCS-2, I won't go into every one of them, but they all sort of interact differently as they pass, soft, uh, as they pass characters throughout the different layers from server to database to presentation layers through your application. And this is important because if you get this wrong, you end up, instead of saying hello user, you get a square box or some de deprecated gobbledygook. And you don't want that because then you ship your product and it's got garbage all over it. So you want to figure out which is the right Unicode character encoding. UTF-8 uses eight sets of zeros and ones unless it needs more. And then maybe it even uses 32 sets of zeros and ones. UTF-16 always has a fixed width. So you always have 16 sets of zeros and ones, although in some implementations of UTF-16, you can combine two, two sets of zeros and ones together, so you get 32. Complicated? Sorry. 